Right, we've been looking in recent weeks about how God dealt with his people when they were slaves in Egypt. And we come today to look at the, the part where God finally rescues his people. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in Egypt, this month is to be for you the first month. This is the first month of your year. Tell the whole community of Israel that on the 10th day of this month, each man is to take a lamb for his family, one for each household. If any household is too small for a whole lamb, they must share one with their nearest neighbor, having taken into account the number of people that there are. You are to determine the amount of lamb needed in accordance with what each person will eat. The animals you choose must be year old males without any defect. And you may take them from the sheep or the, or the goats. So they could have a sheep or they could have a kid or goat. Take care of them until the 14th day of the month, when all the members of the community of Israel must slaughter them at twilight. Then they're to take some of the blood and put it on the sides and tops of the door frames of the houses where they, are, where they eat the lambs. The same night, they are to eat the meat, roasted over the fire, along with bitter herbs and bread made without yeast. Do not eat the meat raw or boiled, boiled in water, but roast it over a fire. With the head, legs and internal organs, do not leave any of it till morning. If some is left until morning, you must burn it. And this is how you are to eat it, with your cloak tucked into your belt, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand. Eat it in haste. It's the Lord's Passover. On the same night, I will pass through Egypt and strike down every firstborn of both people and animals, and I will bring judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I am the Lord. The blood will be a sign for you on the houses where you are, and when I see this, the blood, I will pass over you. No destructive plague will touch you when I strike Egypt. And this is the day you are to commemorate for generations to come. You shall celebrate it as a festival to the Lord, a lasting ordinance. 